Fearsome than you. You're no bad for that wasn't so bad. Huh? I knew it. We got trouble. So bad. Sheath your weapons. We walk on sacred ground. The key 
enemies are in place. Part of us are be inside. We must hurry. Just in time. After all, nobody's been in here for 600 years. I would hate for you to miss this momentous occasion. I'd already have the heart, but it appears to have some kind of magical shield around it. Something that book forgot to mention. But no worries. My wizards assure that they can remove the barrier in a timely fashion. Those keys you gave me worked wonderfully. I studied each one for quite some time. I'm truly honored to be the one in my family that finally gets to use them. What are you doing this for, Ingvar? Why must you buy for such power? I do not want power. I want what is rightfully mine. Do you know what it's like to have something that is yours? Taken from you, then displayed just out of reach every single day of your life. Yalmar led the group that discovered Falscar for years. They were loyal to him. Then, just because he wasn't the one that helped them, they all flocked to Olaf, forgetting the services that Yalmar had provided. To this day, the Borvaldurs remain at the throne that they took from my family. A throne that is not theirs. The throne is not something you're entitled to, Ingmar. The people have the right to choose their leader. They chose the Borvalders. They've done nothing but provide wisdom and help, while your family does nothing but cause trouble for the people. That is not true. How did you get your people to follow you so loyally? You promised him power, didn't you? You would get the heart and use it to help them. You lied to your people. That is the first thing that a king can do. You betrayed your city. How could you possibly hope to rule all of Falskar? I will not stand here being assailed by your petty claims. Admit it, Agnar. You've lost. After all this time and smooth sailing, you failed. You have let your family and your people down. Now, don't any of you move. I'll make this quick. We have to do something, Agnar. We must stall him. Duel me! Excuse me? You heard me. I am challenging you to a round of combat. No guards. None of my companions. Just you and me. Agnar. If you have a single drop of honor in your blood, you'll accept or forever be known as a coward. <laughs> Fine. I'll play your little game. But fighting an old man wouldn't be much of a challenge, now would it? No. I want to fight the Traveler. They come waltzing through the gateway, supposedly foretelling some grand tragedy that is to plague the land. Certainly they must be special. She will provide a challenge. So I want to fight her. You must do it. You aren't a Nord. But you must still have some code of honor. You must fight Ingvar in my stead. But do not fight for your honor. Fight for the honor of the people of Falskar. 
This is going to be fun. <laughs> Satan! Son of a bitch! Finally, the heart is all mine. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Ingvar's screams echoed through the great cavern as Akrande swooped down and carried him away. Tearing not only at his body, but his very soul. Agnor gently placed the heart of the gods back upon its pedestal, and the chamber was resealed. Our efforts that day had paid off. Ingvar and Valder was dead, the land free of his family's endless conquest for power. But not all was won on that day. Borvald lay in ruin, as did Stalgard. Two mighty blows that may mean darker times yet awaited the land. But that was not our concern right now, for on this day, Falskar was saved, thanks to the valiant efforts of our king, his people, and the traveler, an outsider whose involvement in these events was destined by the gods themselves. The people may continue to live, to farm, their children can once again play in the forests. And while the land is not without issue, it has a moment to live, and to enjoy. Falskar is safe, for now. Thank you, my friend, for everything you have done for the people of Falskar. You put yourself in harm's way for the greater good of Falskar many times. That is not something that most women would have done. I hope that this may serve as a reward for your actions. What you did is not something that many would have done, and we owe you. I promise you that the scholars of Falskar will remember you. Brother Dorlo will make sure of that your deeds are more than mere legend. Now please, have some ale. Listen to Rurik play his songs. Relax. You have earned it. We have all earned it. This is a song that arose, thus we may never forget the virtuous feet of the king. Dang it, get me to drinking all our meat. The traveler. I, they were who saved our land, who held their ground with sword in hand, who fought. I can't wait to learn even more as a bit of cow. Everyone at the inn loves what I made so far. Us from eternal night. Bye. Fine day. <laughs> Enjoying your time in Amber Creek? My family built this place, you know. Thank you again for helping me out of that cave. Who knows what would have happened to me otherwise. I want to be a big, strong warrior, just like Olgar. I still can't believe what happened to Borvald. Are you a hunter? If not, you should try it. The war is finally over, and the Unvolders are gone. I guess me and Olgar will Someone return to our cabin and go back to the way things were. You know, when I first met you, I figured you were just another adventurer, in it for the gold, looking to find your big discovery. But I was wrong. You're a brave soul, and you have good judgment. I respect that. 
Maybe we can go hunting together someday. I'd be honored. Maybe when Olgar's ready, we can even go hunt some of those bandits. Sierra, do you need something? Oh, you flatter me, my friend. I am but a simple house car, an huntsman. As is Vegard, I suppose we return now to the cabin. The Unbaldurs are gone. Maybe now we can all work towards peace, instead of war. Oh, don't get me wrong. If obtaining that peace requires us hunting down a few rotten bandits, and <laughs> I'm all for that. Yes. <laughs> Be careful out there. They saved our lives, now false God thrives. Glory to the Father. Staying safe? I guess I go back to the Priory. I've served my purpose under King Agra. Now, it's time for me to return and serve my purpose there. Perhaps me and the other Priors will work on finding shelter for the survivors from Borvald and Stargarth. So many people's lives are Then there's the mystery of the gate in Bzuntan. The prophecy of the Traveler was foretold, and you came to us in our time of need. Perhaps it was again the work of Akravain, or sure. Either way, I'd love to learn more about the gate that started it all. Greetings. I must continue to guide the people. Ingvar may be dead, and the heart may be safe, but dark times are ahead. Two of the three large settlements destroyed. Many citizens scattered or killed. The land is... However, with the Yunvaldirs no longer bringing them here by the boatload, perhaps things will look up. Olaf Borvaldur led a group of just over a hundred Norse to salvation from Falskar's frigid wastes long ago. I'd like to think that I've been given the opportunity to do the same for the people now. Stay safe, friend. Need some extra gold? Put some locks through the mill.